Welcome back everybody. Some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Carrying on our DLC series with the custom clubs this time. Balata Country Club. The Outward Nine. Um, again, if you've seen my previous videos, we've done the DLC clubs with the standard. So the DLC courses with the standard clubs. We're now going to play them with our custom clubs. It's a uh, in this case, it's a level 20 power club you can see there so it gives us a heck of a lot more distance and we're going to see how different the course plays so again the first difference is we can pretty much drive the green i've got a bit of wind though so we need to be sort of careful a bit of a backspin on trying to stop it when it gets up there and the real problem with the woods is they just keep running as you can see we did get the ultra back spin on, hence the purple colour. Don't let the eagle slip. So, 30 foot eagle putt. Oh, this is makeable. Sloping uphill. So, a bit of to the left. A little bit of break to the left, but not much Suzuki. Maybe a cup. So let's hit it firm. Let's see what it let's see what happens. Yes. Go on. Good, good. Get in there. Yes, get in there. Nailed it. So a nice 30 foot eagle to start things off. I'll take that. Hole two. So hole it's a two. Par four. Par four. A uh, bit of wind, which is going to help us because we've got a we've got a blind shot over that hill there. So let's have a look over the hill. Again, we can pretty much drive the green. Let's aim into that bunker. Risky, but you know the wind should bring us back. Again, I want a bit of backspin on it. So I want to stop it when it gets up there. But I think I'm on an upslope, so I don't want to stop it that hard. Oh yeah, the wind's really kicked it right. I actually underread that. Which for a wood is interesting. So, at least it's 23 to go, so we're on the short approach. Again, I'm just going to break right when it lands. The wind's going to take it right and stop it. And it's uphill, so we'll try and chip and run it. Maybe about there. So we're going to hit past the hole, a little bit of top spin, try and run it. Good, good. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Oh, look at that line was spot on, just the pace just broke at the end. So pretty serious break. So maybe a cut right, and we'll hit it firm and we'll see what our luck looks like. Oh, just that was a pretty serious break there. So. Another birdie, which is good. Hole three. It's a par five. So, another par five. Again, nice big wide fairway. We'll aim about there because the wind's going to take it. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll try and bend it left to right as well. So we'll go down, right, up, left. Didn't get the impact. Oh, nice shot. And there we go. Just gives us a bit more run. We're not far off the longest drives, really. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'll do. Tidy, what's up? It's all right. It's 82 to go. Proper crosswind. And we're on an approach which the wind's really going to grab this. So maybe about there. It'll kick a little bit right. And again, it's uphill, so we want to get it up and stop it. Ah, oh, missed the impact. So we've only got standard spin on it. Wind brings it right back. Yeah, it's, a, it's okay. It's okay. So we're inside 15 foot. Relatively. Oh, which way is that going to break? So we're going to break right and break left. Breaking to the right. Right, Suzuki so reckons it is breaking a bit right. So let's go about half left. Hit it reasonably firm. And that should just sneak in. There we go. So another eagle. We like eagles. So par three. Hole four is a par three. Now we do it. Okay, so it's a tailwind so much as a crosswind. So maybe about there. We've got lots of room to work with. So let's try and stop it. Oh, well, I've got the ultra backspin on it. It's probably going to over pitch just because of the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah wind took that. Wind took that. So that was a mistake. Now, we've got a chance at a recovery, so it's going to roll left when it lands. We're into the wind, and we're going to lose a bit on the impact, so we need to get it up there. 
Go on. Oh, nearly. Nearly. I know. Don't be proud. Just relax. I'll take me par, Suzuki. So we're at five under. Disappointed I got a par there, if I'm honest. That was a mistake. I just overpitched it. It's a par four. Fine margins, though. Fine margins. Okay. So another par four. Bends a little bit to the left against the wind. Again, we can drive this. But we're going to put a bit of shape on it as well. So again, we're going to go. Is that enough? I mean, it is a driver. Okay. So let's try up left. Down right. So we got the super spin on it. Nice shot. I took the bunker out of play, which is good. Where are we going to end up? That's well, not bad. It's not bad. Thirty foot away, but we're on, and we got a chance at the eagle. Sloping uphill, breaking to the right. Breaking right for sure, Suzuki. And it's uphill. So how much do we read? Maybe about there. Maybe about there. We've got to hit it firm. Go on. Get in. Oh, oh just, just. That's another long putt for an eagle, but I'll take it. If that's long, they're 31 foot. Oh, six. It's a par four. Okay, so this one bends seriously to the right at the end. But again, we can drive the green, so. Let's get over there. And again, we're gonna have to put a serious bit of spin on this if we can. Oh, missed the impact. Luckily, it's not a power shot, but we've hit a tree. Where the heck is that gone? Is it even playable? Don't take your eye off the gate. Okay, so we're in the rough, but we've got a shot. It's gonna kick right, and the wind's gonna take it right. So let's try and and take some advantage of that. Just oh, avoided the tree. Job. Where is that going to land? It's going to be on, which is good. Okay, we're on the green. Roll with it. Oof. Go for the birdie. Usually difficult when you've got a, a bad first shot. So, going to break right. Breaks to the right. Oof. Maybe about there. Go on. Oh. Nice Got out of jail there for that birdie. That second shot was just good enough. Just good enough. Okay, so par three. It's a par three. Again, not a vicious crosswind, but there's still a bit of wind there. So we're going to aim for about there. It's a seven iron. It's a little bit downhill. A little bit of tailwind. Got the ultra max spin on it. Must of all. Let's see where the line takes it. Oh, wow, we might be... Oh! Overpitched a touch because we didn't have a chance for the spin to take effect. But it's all right. And we got a chance to chip it in from here. So, about there. Go on. Ugh. A bit too much pace and the line wasn't quite right. Just relax. But again, par up. Mr. Birdie there. Mr. Birdie. It's the problem with par threes. There's just zero opportunity if you, you know, if you miss. You've got to make a really good birdie. It's a par four. Okay, so another par four. Again, a little bit of a blind shot, but again, we can drive it. And the wind's going to grip it. So maybe about there. And again, let's get some backspin on it. Oh, missed the backspin. I was going for the ultra backspin and got nothing. You've got to hit perfect impact and timing. But we're on the green. 35 foot pup for an eagle. So breaking left a bit. Sloping downhill. But it's down now. So we've got to have because we can't hit it hard or we're going to run miles past. Yes! Ah. Seriously? See what I mean? Just keeps going. Just keeps going. It's on the fringe. Wow. Ridiculous. Right, we're going to try and chip this back up for sure. Oh, 
In you go. So chipping birdie in the end. But that part was that was not a good first part. But we got our birdie. It's a ninth hole par five. This will be the last. Hole nine. It's a par five. And if you remember last time, we was we were having a bit of a debate about how much of this corner you could cut because we were we were probably ending up about probably about here last one, well, somewhere between there and there. Now we're going to end up up there. There's no real. You can't do something cheeky like end up in the fishing ground. So we'll just play it up here. We use a power shot. Got the ultra top spin on it for what it's worth. With a bit of luck, we can't see. We're still on the fairway. Now we've run off to the left, so that's a mistake. Look at the game. Eighty-five to go. We're not going to get much spin on it, that's for sure. So we will try and get some spin on it. But it's not going to stop, it's going to keep running. It's on the green, that's what counts. 16 yards to go. It's on the fairway, it's not even on the green. So that is a mistake. Okay. So again, we have to do a bit of a chip and run. That's got a chance. Oh. Line wasn't quite there. Chance for a birdie. It's a six foot put back for a birdie. But again, that's an eagle gone, gone begging that. So we finish on 10 under, but 12 or 13 was really on the cards there. Just a couple of little errors. But again, it kind of re-emphasises the point I keep making about, you know, your, your approach shot to the green. You need to be in good position on the fairway. Putting it in the rough means you've got to pull something out of the bag. But there you go. Now, I'm not going to tell us where we ranked, which is a shame. Let's have a look at our stats. I think we did miss. We did miss a few fairways, didn't we? You broke the record! Hey ho. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Ah, oh, my custom club's in poor shape. So I'm going to have to spend 10 gems on getting that repaired. I think all it really means is you can't see the flag indicator on the power. So you can carry on. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for a little bit more of your mini skull.